Hello my friends, another little video about my brand new bike, the Husqvarna Norden 901. Today I was mounting new handguards on it. You might have seen my previous video, which I recorded I think a week or two ago, uh, when I dropped the bike, unfortunately, first time. My legs are too short, I know, yes. Or maybe my driving abilities need to get better. Anyway, um, these cosmetic handguards, which I call them, we are basically not good for anything more than just wind, wind protection. Uh, that one broke off right away. I think it broke here somewhere um, when I dropped the bike on it. <laughs> yep. So these original KTM ones are much more stable. We have this metal bar which go all, goes all around, fits very nicely. It has this very cool made uh, thing here in the front where you adapt it under the uh, brake cables, brake and clutch cables on the other side, and then a massive metal clamp here um, that attaches it to the handlebar. I had also these Tourotec levers on my previous bike uh, on the 701, uh, 790, um, which fold upwards. Don't fold downwards, no, they fold only upwards. That means even in case the bike now falls on that handguard, it would be pushed upwards. The lever would also move upwards and would not break off. Quite useful, actually. Um, I, I bought the white ones because I thought they fit nicely with the white uh, fork protector down there. Um, about 100 euros, I was lucky that local dealer had over the weekend 15% discount, so I ordered them right away. Um, a friend of mine had them on his 690, and they fit also the 790, 890, and of course now the 901. Um, and of course, Olaf is happy, right Olaf? Yeah, uh, that his feet doesn't get that cold anymore. Then I was curious how to remove the side cover, and I want to show you that. You see the right one is already off. It's very easy. I didn't have a manual or anything. I just tried it carefully. Just be careful not to break anything. So the two seats need to come off, of course. Then the battery cover here, which has normally two screws on the 790 and 890, is very easy just pulled off. It comes out like that. It has these three metal clamps there that holds it in place. And then you have already access to a battery in case you want to take it out, for example, um, or disconnect it over winter, or whatever, very easy. Um, unfortunately, here on the bike, the battery is quite high, so it will raise the point of balance a little bit, but at least it's easy to access, just as easy as the air filter, which is under here, which I will show you a little bit later for those which are not familiar with that one. So from a maintenance point of view, I think 798, are great bikes easily. Now, after that is off, you have two screws here on the front, on the sides, that need to come off. And then you can basically lift off this tank cover and take it off. Um, of course, there's one more before. Um, you need to remove, I forgot that, you need to remove those screws, which connect here to the side panels, actually, which is here on. So the side panel is connected here. So these screws out and the two screws out on the front and the battery, the battery cover off, and then that thing comes off. So after that, you will see that the side panel has one pin going into this rubber bushing here. So you carefully pull that out, not violently, but carefully. Then you have another screw here on the top. You'll see that here on the left side pedal needs to come out. It's already dusty. Um, and on the front, from the inside here, you see it here on the side actually, and further down there, there are two screws here going through the sides that need to come out. And then you see that the side panel is clamped on these three clamps here, and you basically just pull it, pull it off. So if you take a look at the side panel, here it is, we see that it's like, like this. So one, two screws, two screws in the front, um, what else? The pin. Yeah. And I think that's it. Yeah, right away. Then it should come off, actually. Um, and you see that here also, there is... Uh, I have two little hands, too few hands. One screw here, one screw, two screws down there. Uh, the two screws here and the pin down there, okay? Now the air filter is another ingeniously easy to replace part. Um, it's just two screws. I will take them out and then show you how it looks inside. 
So unfortunately I'm holding the camera with iPhone basically with one hand, so I can't take the screws out at the same time. But you see the screws are out, then the cover comes off somehow. I think the cable is there in the way, yeah, like this. And here we look at the air filter um, at the outside side, so it sucks in from here, basically through these, through these knockers here, there's one on every side. And then if you pull out that part here, you would have access to the air filter. I'm not doing that now because it should be tight, but it's really easy to access for cleaning. Some people have realized that it not uh, always sits tight. So I would recommend to put maybe some, <clears throat> some grease or something on the, on the rubber to make sure it's really airtight. And to put it back, well, simple as that, you need to make sure this little hook here goes uh, onto the cable. And then you have these things here, which go under here somewhere. So let's see if I can do that with the, with the wrong hand. I need to maybe do my right hand for that. Yeah, and there it sits already. Here we go. That's it. Very simple, back with the screws. And uh, well, so easy to remove that. Um, again, if you want to get further into electrics, I guess what I've seen is that there is a screw here on every side, which I guess will remove the whole headlamp, but I haven't tried that yet. Next step, maybe. And the screws are, by the way, all the same. They are these special KTM screws that we use anywhere. They're all the same for these side covers. Um, I will check and give you the part number in the text. I would recommend that you maybe have a few uh, in spare in case you drop one. Quite useful to have. They come in two different lengths, I think, but here we are all on the on the on this fairing. They are all the same here. And one last thing, one last little modification I've done is the side panel. You see, that's not the original one, which is much bulkier. It sticks out quite far here and has some uh, space for tools, which is actually nice, but interferes a little bit with my Moscomodo um, R80 luggage system. So I've just bought some two, two millimeter polystyrene. Yeah, and just about... 30 seconds before I was finished with this video, in the garage down the battery of the iPhone was dead. Um, so what I wanted to say is that I bought a big sheet of polystyrene to make these side panels. Uh, it came 1 meter by 1 meter 50, so I have plenty of material left for other projects. Um, and it's easy to cut, it's, it's relatively soft plastic, but it's nicely flexible. Didn't even need a heat gun to get it in shape. Um, you can cut it with any kind of saw, for example, with a fine blade. Um, and uh, it took me about, I guess, an hour, one and a half hours to make these side panels and because they should fit nicely, so I needed uh, to get the cut right, but it worked with the first attempt. Um, and then three screws on each side to get it fixed. And that makes the bike so slim that my Moscomoto R80 system fits nicely. Then I put the bike together and came out, and to my surprise, it was snowing. You see, it's white out there. Come on, seriously, um, it's April now and I want to go motorcycle riding. Um, well, I don't know when, I have now 650 kilometers on the bike, so another 350 until the first service, which is probably not gonna happen after that weekend. I uh, need a bit more kilometers on the bike. So I'm hoping you have a better spring, um, warmer spring and a safe spring. Enjoy the riding season. 2022 and see you later with some later update again of the 901 maybe. Bye!